Hi, I'm Monica Bay at the third annual eDiscovery Conference here at the University of Florida's beautiful campus. And this must be a wonderful experience for you. You founded this with George Sosha. Tell us a little bit about this one and what the plans are for the future. Well, this one's really special, Monica. Uh, thank you for being here this oh, year with us. thank this. you. I'm thrilled. <laughs> uh, we're doing some exciting things. E-discovery's changing. We're in the middle of a, what I like to call the second wave. Uh, we're moving from business documents uh, and electronically stored information to all kinds of data that surrounds us that we're enveloped in that tells the story of our lives. So what we're seeing the way e-discovery is going is it's really facilitating the litigation process by allowing us to get to the truth even quicker if we know what we're doing if we do it right and intelligently and that's the whole idea here is to stop thinking of e-discovery as a plague of locusts that's landed <laughs> on us uh, th this is a tremendous access to truth because information is being recorded and collected around us all the time so if our attorneys can do that in family law and contract law in probate law we're going to be able to get to the nut the heart of the dispute quicker and resolve it so that litigation can move at the pace of life now you have uh, your partner at yes. a major law firm and you do all this wonderful work for the University of Florida. What message would you like the students to get from the folks who are here today and as you move forward on your conferences? that uh, real attorneys do e-discovery. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is a critical skill for all litigators. It's a value-added proposition. You, you can't think about deposition skills, think about trial skills. E-discovery skills fill that same spot, it's that same level, if not more. Because now what we know is early on in the case, we can get to the truth instead of waiting to later on in the development process of the and litigation. One last question for you. The market's been very, very difficult. There's some rumors that it might be improving a little bit for jobs for students. Students are not going to law school as much because of the high cost mm -hmm. and they're, they're turning to other arenas. How do you see eDiscovery helping students get to the front of the line when it comes to get, getting a job, finding a job, and succeeding? In their, in their careers. Getting a job, finding a job, and succeeding, it all goes together. Finding a job, this is a skill set that frankly attorneys from our generation don't have. Uh, they're out there in the field working hard, they don't have time to develop the skill set, they're uncomfortable with it, they want someone else to do it. So this is a value that that lawyers can do in a law firm. Up until now, unfortunately, too often it's been delegated to litigation support professionals who are wonderful people. It's been delegated to paralegals who are wonderful people, but they need to work with attorneys that know e-discovery, and those attorneys can bring real value to the case in terms of finding the important information quickly. And that makes them heroes to clients. Yes. The last thing clients want is people treading water all the time and building the file. They want to yes. know what the truth is, they want to know it now, and they want to know whether this is a case to settle or a case to win. And I can't tell you how many people have told me that if you go with these skill sets, you're going to be front of the line because, because in a very competitive environment, you're going to be offering hit the ground running opportunities day one. We could talk forever. We don't have time to talk forever. I'm Monica Bay. We're at the University of Florida. And thank you for watching.